Automatic. Addison. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use external libraries in C++ to enhance your robotics projects. External libraries provide pre-written code that can save you time and effort by offering ready-made solutions for common tasks. Let's begin by opening up VS Code, code period, X out that welcome screen. And now to begin, we're going to install the Eigen Library, a linear algebra library widely used in robotics for tasks such as matrix operations and transformations. So now I want you to go to the terminal right here and type sudo apt install lib eigen lib eigen 3 and then dev. Enter your password if prompted and wait for the installation to complete. Now let's create a new C++ file and name it simple eigenexample.cpp. Now let's type the following code into the editor, pound include, IO stream, include our library, see the autocomplete is really helping us along here. Let's type int main curly braces, and we're going to do eigen, and let's do vector 3D, V, 1, 2, 3, and we can't forget our semicolon at the end of the line, and let's do a print to the terminal window by doing std c out. Two arrows going to the left. Do v equals v dot transpose. Fill it in. Go to std. L. Return zero. Save. So what did we do in this code? In this code, we included the necessary headers, IO stream for input and output operations, and eigendins for the eigen library. Then in the main function, we created a 3D vector using eigen vector 3D class and we initialize it with the values 1, 2, and 3. Finally, we print the transpose vector using std c out. Now, right click, click run code, and you should see the transpose vector printed in the terminal. We could have also compiled the code this way, g++ hyphen i forward slash at usr include eigen3, simple eigenexample.cpp object simple eigenexample.
Okay. So here we have G++ I pathway to the library, the file that we want to compile, and then the output file, the actual executable right here. And let's click enter. Okay, it just compiled. And let's explain what this I flag is. So this I flag in G++ tells the compiler where to look for additional includes, additional header files. So we just compiled and after successful compilation, run the executable by doing period forward slash and then simple. This is our executable, our output file. And here we get V123. You should see the same transpose vector output as before. That's it. Keep building.